Wallingford's Main Street Movie Theater is ever in our hearts. Along Wallingford's Main Street has stood a theater known since 1957 as the Guild 45th. It's been shuttered since 2017. Early this month, its sign and prow marquee deemed a safety hazard after a delivery truck hit them were torn down. The marquee recently had injected pandemic-era whimsy and inspiration. Starting December 18, 2020, its east face displayed just one word, scarf face. It switched last July 18th to another movie pun, Vax to the Future. The pointed humor masked a dour trend. Virus-related restrictions have sent revenue plummeting at movie theaters nationwide. Insiders note that some demographic groups, such as older women, have stopped going to movies altogether, which in turn affects the types of films in production. Twas not always thus. Before video rentals, DVDs, and the internet, not to mention TV, neighborhood movie theaters were ubiquitous magnets. For Wallingford, the love affair started a century ago. What became the Guild 45th at 2115 North 45th Street was opened in 1921 by W.C. Code as the Paramount Theater. The 40 by 90 foot building seated 475 and hosted movies and live productions with occasional political or business gatherings. It was rechristened the 45th Street Theater on September 1, 1933 by its new owner, theater veteran H.W. Bruin. With a neon marquee, the Art Deco Mini Palace became what the Seattle Times called symbolic in architecture and design of the century of progress. Two plus decades later, in December 1956, the fledgling, non-mainstream Seattle Cinema Guild began bookings of classic U.S. and foreign films at the 45th. The next year, the remodeled theater acquired its present name and became a so-called art house, screening the world's greatest foreign films, banning anyone under 18, and supplying free coffee and cigarettes between shows. The first offering was a French sexploitation flick, Companions of the Night. The fair had broadened considerably by February 1983 when, four years after joining the Seven Gables chain, the Guild 45th appended an auditorium with 200 steeply raked seats, two storefronts to its west. In 1989, it became part of Landmark Theaters. Citing too many alterations, the City Landmarks Board voted 6-2 to two in May 2016 not to protect the Guild 45th, and it closed abruptly 13 months later. Early in 2021, its deteriorating structures, including an ex-restaurant between them, were painted with a colorful mural by Urban Artworks to deter random graffiti. What will become of the Guild 45th site? Last November, LA-based owner 2929 Entertainment applied for a demolition permit, and the 1933 films on the marquee in our then photo provide insight. While the theater certainly is ever in my heart, no one would be surprised if it were to give way to yet another faceless modern monolith, like the disaster befalling the characters in Deluge. In our first then photo, two 1933 film titles, the Barbara Stanwyck World War I melodrama Ever in My Heart and the disaster film Deluge glow from the neon marquee of H.W. Bruin's 45th Street Theater during an evening in 1934. In our second then photo, the French sexploitation film Companions of the Night the initial offering at the newly named Guild 45th Theater is advertised in the October 14, 1957 Seattle Post-Intelligencer. 
Now, Carol Cruz and her two girls walk beneath the scarf face marquee of the closed 100-year-old Guild 45th Theater in April 2021. The other side, not visible here, summoned another pertinent film title, Mask. And the flat marquee for the adjacent auditorium briefly read, Citizen Pain. The prow marquee and sign were removed early this month. In December 2021, pedestrians walked past the marquee, reading Vax to the Future. The marquee messages were the creation of Seattle guerrilla artist Todd Lawson, who calls them good, clean fun. <laughs> 